Hello everyone, this is Frank with Clean Carburetor. Today we're going to look at the, um, the stator for one outboard engine. This is made by Mercury Force 40 or 50 horsepower, looks the same. Um, this is the stator, it actually bolts to the engine frame or the engine block directly while the flywheel with the glue dot magnets on the inside, which are very strong, bolts to the crankshaft. So when the engine turns, then the flywheel turns as well around the stator. The way the uh, alternator works is that the motion of the permanent magnets around the coils of the stator will generate electric electricity on the inside, will gener generate an electric field, therefore there is going to be a voltage and amperage coming out of the coils. That's the way the alternator works. Now we're going to show on how to test the stator itself. There are three coils in here. There, are, there is a pair of red wires, red and red and white, and blue, blue and white, and two yellow wires. So first we're going to test the red ones. Insert the ohmmeter probes between the connector and the shield. Do not touch it by your hands. And here we go. We read 94 ohms. The uh, manufacturer spec is 80 to 100, therefore this is very good. I'm going to test the other coil, the blue wires. And they read 65 ohms. So it's a little bit low, but um, this is still good to put on, on the motor. If there is no resistance between them, that means that the coil is burnt. Now, to check the third coil between the <clears throat> two yellow lines, it's going to be a very small resistance. 1.4, 1.3, and that is good. Now we're going to check every single wire. We're going to start from uh, from the yellow wires uh, against the ground. If there is a contact between the ground and any of these wires, that's one bad stator. So far, so good. Red and white. Now it's red. No resistance between the wires and the stator and the ground of the stator. They look good. So this is a good stator. Particular number, part number for the outboard force 40 horsepower is written here. This is the original part. Now we're going to take a look at one bad stator. It's bad because I tested it before. I'm going to check the yellow wires. And they read again 1.3, 1.4. It's all good. Check the red ones. It's good. 95, same as we read on the other one. And now when we test the blue ones, we're going to find out that there is no resistance. Which means that this particular stator is no good. There is no need to check it against the ground, wire by wire, because uh, as we said, one of the coils is no good. Therefore, it cannot go back on the uh, on the engine. 
Thank you for watching. I hope this helps. Uh, remember, always for all the needs for small engines, take a look at our website, Clean Carburetor.